Hello everybody and welcome, welcome back. Lars here and guess what? It's finally, it's finally, finally here. Uh, Adventure Week and please, if there is anything I could ever, ever tell you that sticks, make sure it is that you need a Bastion on and go out there, grab a shield on, make sure it's good IVs. They are all over the place, folks. Uh, 0, 15, 14 is what you're gunning for. Uh, hopefully you'll get one. If not, you know, um, that's okay, but you really, really, really do want to try to get one that is 0, 15, 14, uh, just because, you know, it does really well against mirror matches and uh, plenty of other scenarios. But yeah, they are plenty out there as long as, uh, as well as, you know, Archons out there, Tortuga, uh, Tyrant, and of course, uh, Amora is another great one to have, Aurorus. Uh, and so please, please, please make sure if you can get those, uh, go for it. It is a great, great, great opportunity. And uh, as far as Bastion is concerned, 0, 15, 14, we're going to go ahead and look at this Sableye clip, and this is one of the reasons why. And as soon as we can, obviously, we're going to get this Stone Edge off. Now, our opponent here, they do have a lot of knowledge of Sableye. They're playing it the traditional way. I go up against a lot of Sableye um, when I, you know, obviously, throughout my time using Bastion as a lead. At this time, I kind of switched it up, and I'm really liking it. And it forces our opponent uh, to basically either lose both of their shields super early, which nobody wants, or give up the lead and a shield. So it's totally up to them. So there we go. We're going to throw a second Stone Edge. If you are using an optimal uh, Bastion and they are using optimal, you know, Sableye, you're going to put them in a tough spot. But enough about that. Go ahead. We're switching to Victory Bell. Here comes Umbreon. Now, I've seen this team so many times. I don't know why, but in the last 48 hours, um, I've seen Deoxys, Umbreon, and uh, Dugong, and it's been great. It's been a godsend uh, because I was kind of having some problems in the Fossil Cup. I got down to like 2350, but because I've been seeing a lot of this team and a lot of, um, well, you'll see them here in a second, but uh, I was able to get up to, you know, I'm like 100 away from uh, Legend. So yeah, here's what you got to do here. Um, it's not too bad. It's a great flip. It's a great win. So if you do see that Deoxys, uh, don't be too upset. Don't get too concerned because, you know, it can always be flipped, especially if they have two Pokemon that are weak to fighting in the back. So there we go. Here comes Deoxys coming on back in. No problem. Here we go. Throw this Ice Punch. I've been using Ice Punch, um, you know, or you can use uh, Psychic. I'll flip either way. Uh, power up punch, ice punch, power up punch, psychic, or psychic and ice punch. It's totally up to you, and it all depends on what you're seeing and um, you know what the meta is, what the little micro meta is. So it's absolutely at your discretion what you want to use and when to use it, when to switch it up. So there we go. And uh, here it is. Here comes this surf. At this point, there is nothing they can do. We can kill it with our fast. They're going to get a total of two more off, but we do have that shield, remember? So there we go. There's one. They'll get one more off, uh, but there's just nothing they can do. We got the shield, and uh, that's that. We win. All right, on to the next one. So plenty of Alolan Sand Slash here. Um, all of them, I think, or most of them will be Shadow. Um, just like before, this person plays it a little bit differently, so I made sure to include it first. And what they do is uh, they actually throw against our Metacham. So as soon as our Bastion dies here, everybody double charges. Some people, like this person, will throw against Metacham. Others will save and uh, have Ice Punch ready to go. There we go. So here goes that drill run. No problem. And like I said, most people will switch out immediately. They switch to Azumarill. And we bring in Victory Bell. We're going to obviously shield this one here. There we go. And then they bring in Metacham. So no problem. Throw this Leaf Tornado if this happens to you. They're going to shield. We do get the attack break, which is great news. So go ahead and just let our Victory Bell rest in peace. See you next battle, buddy. There we go. Still does quite a bit of damage. And then we bring in our Metacham. And our Metacham, we're just going to let it Tank this Psychic, no problem. Throw this Power Up Punch, like so. There it is. There's a Power Up Punch. And then one more little boop. And now it's looking really, really good. They realize it's over, and that's that. So, bad lead. We bring in Metacham. Now, this person does something that uh, I was really surprised with. They have Dazzling Gleam, but they didn't try to bait me. And one thing I have noticed, um, you know, like I said, I was having a lot of trouble 
uh, with Fossil Cup. So I switched over to, you know, Great League, and I was able to get 500 ELO in the span of a few days. But if you're fighting a little bit lower, 23, 2400, a lot of people are having a lot of trouble with baiting. A lot of people don't know how to bait. And so, I, you know, I gave up an opportunity like this. Um, but a lot of people are just going straight for the charge moves. I think they're thinking, you know, they're either going to get a shield or they're going to KO the opponent. So it's always good to go for the, um, you know, the heavy damage, but that's just not true. And, you know, obviously the higher up you go, the more you see people baiting properly, but that's all for another day. For now, we have another lone sand slash. There we go. They're going to go ahead and they're playing, going to play it the traditional way, which is here comes the drill run. They're going to kill me. Well, first they're going to shield my flamethrower. Flamethrower stone edge, doesn't matter. They're going to shield. You know, it could be literally like ice punch. They'll shield it. Doesn't matter if Ice Punch existed for Bastiodon. So there we go. They throw the Ice Punch. They have one ready to go. So they switch out. And at this point, I know exactly what they're going to do. Uh, so we're going to throw the Psychic here. And we don't have to win against this Metachamp. And I cannot stress this enough. As long as they um, don't have any shields, they can win. Absolutely, they can win. Here we go. Check it on out. I'm going to throw the Psychic here. Force them the shield or die. They chose shield, and so we're going to bring in Victory Bell real quick. Now we have two shields. Their Alolan Sand Slash is going to go ahead and is going to get the, this Ice Punch off. No problem, you know? There we go. They could get another one off. Doesn't matter, because we know they have an Azumarill in the back, because I've seen this team a billion times, as long as, as well as the Deoxys uh, team. This one I just showed you to, um, to uh, show, you know, me getting finally... <laughs> expert it took a while you know man there's nothing more soul crushing than getting down to 2350 but i was able to get back up in a few days so it all worked you know there's another sand slash lead we're gonna go ahead and uh same thing as before there's a drill run we're gonna throw this flamethrower as soon as we can there we go and then this person plays it just like the person before which is i guess more the traditional way and that is, there's the drill run. Well, maybe a little different. They bring in their Metachamp. It becomes our Metachamp versus theirs. Albeit we have two shields to their one. And there's the Psychic. We get the Defense Ball, which is, you know, just icing on the cake. They get a Psychic. They use a Psychic, but we they don't get the attack or the Defense Break. So there we go. And then here comes an Ice Punch. No problem. Throw the Psychic here. And they're going to go ahead and they're going to let... Their Pokemon die, and here comes Victory Bell, and now there's just not much they can do because we have two shields left. That's why it's so important to have two shields, and that's why we don't shield Bastion or Switch, right? So Lantern lead. I've been doing Lantern a little bit different. I've been throwing this Stone Edge. Now Lantern can and will get off two Surfs, as you'll see here. This person, there's one. Here comes number two, and I don't like to give up that much HP um, with our Bastion on right at the start, but you need to, right? There's always a way to win. So we get a Stone Edge off. You know, it lowers our HP. This person actually chooses to stick around and fight. There's a Thunderbolt. And then, uh, yeah, we go ahead. We take care of business. Take care of their Lantern. And then who comes to the party? But Knocked Out. Power Up Punch and Psychic coming their way. There's Power Up Punch. Now here comes a Psychic. There we go. And it lowers their attack, or lowers their HP low enough to where they're no longer pose a threat in case I need to put in Victory Bell, which is great news for us. And uh, same thing goes with Bastion. Bastion doesn't have to worry about a Shadow Ball here. Uh, we're looking really, really good. So there it is. And it becomes our me their Meta Chambers, our Victory Bell, which means there's nothing they can do. With two shields each, full health, Meta Champ cannot uh, beat Victory Bell unless you get like lag for days. But otherwise, everything's fine. There we go, and there's a win. And let's go ahead, let's check out the last battle. And it's same thing as before, Lantern lead. Just like before, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna throw that Stone Edge just to get their HP low enough. So here it is, there's that Stone Edge. And then this time we're gonna quick switch to Victory Bell. And Victory Bell is gonna be a good cut plant. It's gonna go ahead, it's gonna tank this Surf, and then they're gonna bring in Metacham. And so right here, what we're going to do is we are going to play it a little bit more aggressively and we're going to shield and throw this uh, Leaf Tornado right here. There it is. We don't get the attack break, which is sad, 
but we get their HP low enough to where we want to bring in Bastion on because we want our Metacham to uh, not, you know, absorb any damage. So Ice Punch, not going to hurt Bastion on at all. Quick boop, they're done. And then they bring in Swampert, and it becomes our Metacham versus their Swampert. And well, luckily, it's not a Shadow Swampert. Either way, they catch our attack. We'll return the favor in a little bit. There it is, but we're using Power Up Punch, and so we just get stronger and stronger. All works out. Here comes another Power Up Punch headed their way. There it is. And now what they're doing is they're double charging. And so we're going to shield this one. We're going to get off this Power Up Punch. And then we're going to say, there it is. And then we're going to go ahead and let Bastion on catch that move. And then we'll say goodbye to their.